Good morning guys. I'm going to talk as I work rather than edit the video. Here is the bottle, the jar that we're working on and I save some of these larger glass jars because I find these work perfectly for several things. Now I still have the lid but I'm not going to work on the lid today because this is going to be more for paint brushes. So I'm going to decoupage these this napkin on here. I definitely want a white paint on my background so that we can tear these napkins out. What I'm going to do is use this color first. I'm going to paint the whole jar and you want to make sure you're using the chalky finish for glass. I'll show you why. I think this jar is about two years old. This jar sits on the corner of my sink where it gets splashed continuously. It's been knocked over. You see I didn't do the lid because I wasn't worried about that. I keep baking soda in here. I wanted to see how this chalky finish for glass held up. This was one coat. Now I know better. I'll put two coats on. But today, And here's the decoupage which has not worn off at all. Use the chalky finish color that you have. Chalky finish for glass as your first coat. This is parchment paper on a cookie sheet. I'm going to put this in the oven. The oven is cold. I'm going to set it to 200 degrees Fahrenheit and I'm going to leave it on for about 15 minutes. Then I'm going to turn the oven off and I'm just going to let this sit in there and cool down. Now I'm going to take the napkin and just to make it easier, I'm going to cut the napkin in half. And now you want to take a thin paintbrush. If you have an artist's, a fine artist's paintbrush like this, you'll want to get a little cup of water and use that to go around your flowers. Now I haven't separated the napkin yet. It's too delicate to do this while the napkin, when the napkin is separated. I'm going to go carefully around the flowers and leaves that I want to cut out and then tear them away and I'll show you a trick with the tearing. You want to put your thumb over the spots that you don't want to tear. So I want to leave a more natural looking edge on that and when you have a hard edge, this straight line. I want to get rid of that so I will get rid of that whole piece so that we still have that whole rose intact. So I'm going to go around the rest of these and tear them out individually. Make Just sure keep all of these are dry before you separate them and to make it easier to separate them you can just dampen your fingertips. Not too much, just keep doing that until they're a little bit tacky and damp. And <laughs> you have to get it at just the right amount of uh, dampness. And by the way, I'm pressing in here so that the back part sticks to this finger and the front part sticks to my thumb. And then you just carefully separate your napkins so that you're left with several of these, just the top ply of the napkin. Oh, we're ready to decoupage and I just want to make sure I have a nice pattern set up to put these napkins into. So play around with your napkins first to see where you'd like them to go before you decoupage them. Here's the important thing. We need to use napkin decoupage glue and I always use the deco art. I work in a star pattern when I apply these napkins. So what I'll do is place my napkin down and I'll start in the center and place my brush down and work my way out. 
and make sure you focus on those edges. And I'm going to put this aside to dry. You can put this in the oven again. Make sure the oven is cold when you put this in. You can set it to 200 degrees. Let it sit in there for about 15 minutes, then turn the oven off and let this cool down in there. When you do put this in the oven to heat it up quicker, it gives it kind of a uh, glossy effect. So you may not want that. You may just want to let it air dry. That's fine as long as it's not too humid. Give it a couple of hours to dry. All right, here it is with the glitter on it. You can tap it and you can see that the glitter won't come off because of the triple thick. And now I just want to do one more thing and that's add some ribbon and I think... I am sorry I had to change microphones. I know this sounds drastically different, but we are at the end of the video. And I added lace around the top there with a little bit of gem. A gemstone to also go around it and this is where I am going to keep some of my brushes thank you so much for subscribing there is a little icon down at the bottom right of the screen that looks like a pair of scissors with a hole in it if you just click on that you will be subscribed upcycle with decoupage is also over on Facebook if you go over and like and follow that page you'll be notified every week by Facebook when I put a new video out so you don't miss that. I do have an ebook on Amazon that's $4.99 and that will help you with all of your decoupage projects no matter which surface you're working on along with links back to videos. I'll have links down below for all of the products. By the way, my book is called Successful Decoupage Every Time. And all of the links are down below. I love hearing from you guys. Thank you for your likes, your comments, your questions. If I can help you, I will. Um, it's not that easy for me to get back to everyone, uh, which is the reason I wrote the ebook. And I'll put a link down below so that you can turn your smart device into a Kindle for free. I love that. I did it about a year ago, and now I just buy books books immediately without leaving the house. Okay guys, that's it for this week. I hope you're all doing well and I will see you hopefully next week. I should have another video ready by then. Thanks guys. Bye-bye.